Hi guys, welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the beta channel, which is the build 20,000 This build for the beta channel doesn't include any new features or a lot of fixes, but instead, as you saw, we have a different build number because the beta channel is moving on to the next branch. And on the beta channel, we will start to see more Moment 3 update features being tested out. And also in this update, I'm going to show you how to get out of the beta channel channel if you're interested in that because Microsoft also allows you to get out of the beta channel right now for a limited time. So if you enjoy videos like these in which we talk about different Windows 11 Insider preview builds, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So what do you need to know about this build is that insiders who were previously on build 22623 will automatically get moved to build 22624 via an enablement package. So this is good news for the beta channel of course course because the beta channel is moving on further. Now let me show you how you can get out of the beta channel if you're interested in that. Just open up the search box, type in their settings, open up the settings app, go into the Windows Update section and then Windows Insider Program. And you'll notice that if you scroll down and click on Stop Getting Preview Builds, you can enable unroll this device when the next version of Windows releases. So basically you'll be able to unroll the device when the next big update of Windows releases and also you can switch to the Release Preview Channel if you're interested in that. I think this is really useful for some people because maybe some of you wanted to switch to the release preview channel for example the release preview channel is basically the main release but with a one week or maximum two weeks update in advance so I think if you want a very stable version of Windows you can switch to the release preview channel from the beta channel because I think the release preview channel is really stable for example on my main computer where I make all these videos I edit them and so on I use the release preview channel of Windows 11 now as particular features for this build we have some voice access improvements and here we can note a redesigned in-app command help page. Voice access is now available in English dialects and also new text selection and editing commands. More info about those we'll have in the article below in the video's description. And we have only two fixes for both the builds. As I've told you before, there are two different builds that Microsoft always releases on the beta channel. More info about that also in the article below in the video's description. So this update improves the reliability of Windows after you install an update. And they also fix an issue from the last beta channel flight, which was causing a notification center, quick settings, and taskbar jump lists to not work for some insiders. So this is basically it for this beta channel build. If you want to learn more info about this build, you can check out the article below in the video's description. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Jumani from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.